for math to be fun is really radical. Uh, now, I was not actually uh, a math major. I was asked to teach math, and I found kids really struggled with it. And I just went, I have to find a fun way to deal with math. There has to be a better way to come up with it. Now, here is me actually with part of the reason that I got into it. These are some of my grandkids who uh, we camp in Lake Okoboji, Iowa, every summer and have a great time. And we also uh, play with numbers there and have a great time doing it. It's really a lot of fun working with it. Now, math is important. It's part of the three R's, reading, writing, arithmetic. Uh, it's one of the crucial pieces of, of it. And it really can heavily influence your experience in school, your, what, whether, what school, what college you get into, if you, if you do that, what life you live in. Now, who is this, who am I you know, talking for? Anybody that struggled with math? Anybody who knows somebody? <laughs> yeah, I'm getting some hands. Who knows somebody who struggled with math? If your kids struggle with math, if you know, have some nieces and nephews, anybody who's really worked with that and, and don't know where to go with it. Now, my math is based on fun and play. It's pattern play math. So it's playing with patterns in numbers. It's having fun with stuff that just builds a structure on it. And it's simple patterns, and it's really playful. It's a, it's a good thing. Now, you know, some parents and teachers really struggle with, you know, it, math is so simple. I mean, once you get it, once you've gone through the, the grinding, you know, the flashcards, and, and you finally get it, and then the kids struggle with it, and they're, and they're scared, and they're bored, and they're overwhelmed by it. Well, Kelvin says, you know, I don't think math is a science. I think it's a religion. A religion? Yeah, all these equations are like miracles. You take two numbers and add them, and they magically become a new number. No one can say how it happens. You just believe it or you don't. This whole book is full of things that have to be accepted on faith. It's a religion. And in the public schools, too. <laughs> now, Kelvin would like this. And you know, pull out your phone. If you turn your phone to the left, the dial pad, the number pad, is going up on the left. It's a tic-tac-toe, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and then a zero. If you put that into a tic-tac-toe square, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and then on the right are the tens, you put zeros, ones, twos, and you put those in front of those green numbers, and you actually create the threes times table. That easily, on your phone, show this to a kid sometime. It's great fun. 369, 12, 15, 18, 21, 21, 24, 27, 30. And you can actually see that pad up on the top shows you where they are. So the three is the nine, three times three is nine, six times three is 18, nine times three is 27. It shows you exactly where the times table are on there. Now you can continue this on. So this is, you're building a structure. So this is actually doing it again, this same, Numbers one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and then threes, fours, fives in front of them on the right. Now, the sixes are hidden in there, and the kids can find them. It's like a game, and they're learning math. They're having fun learning math. Now, this is going another one. You can actually take it times 10 or 20 tic tac toe squares like this. The nines are hidden in this one. You're all the way up to 90 with the threes, and a four year old kid can create this and have fun doing it. Now, what's cool about this is the patterns and numbers that are here are actually the six, seven, eight, nines are the tough ones for kids. The ones and nines, twos and eights, threes and sevens, fours and sixes, the numbers that add up to 10 use the same patterns. So when you know the threes, you're able to do the sevens as well. So if you, instead of turning the, your phone sideways to the left, you turn it to the right. That gives you your sevens. Starting top right, going down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. You flip them up right so you can see them, and you'll end up with the, the numbers like that. Okay? Now that's real simple, and you're going to use a different pattern to create the tens digits here. A nice simple pattern. So you're doing two simple patterns, and you put those two simple patterns together, and you create the times table. So the tens pattern is 
it starts with zero and then it goes same up up same up up same up 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 zero one two two three four four five six seven that pattern with that creates the hardest number for kids sevens are the ones that they really struggle with that they can't get in just like that and and kids say thank you oh my god you saved my <laughs> yeah well i won't <laughs> Go into that. But it really is tremendously helpful for the kids to be able to do something like this and create all these numbers like this. Now, this is the tic tac toe is one structure that I use. There's all kinds of structures that you can use. You can take a number line to 10, bend it in a circle, and create a number wheel. And the numbers on the top, that's ones and nines on the left, then twos and eights, threes and sevens do a 10 pointed star, fours and sixes, and the fives. I'll do fun patterns on number wheels, and it's great fun, and you do tables. This is my easy times table, which is incredible. It can do everything up to factors and find prime numbers on it. And it's a structure that you use as you go up. Now, I'm looking for, I do a lot of national and international stuff. I'm looking for local teachers, parent groups, uh, homeschool groups, uh, even individuals and, and parents who want to play with this and, and do this. So if you want, are interested in that, sign up and let me, because I really, I, I want to keep going deeper and, and share more stuff. As my grandkids get older, <laughs> I want to teach them more. So thank you.